G'day YouTube. So, this afternoon at the shed, we've got the big tool pro sandblasting cabinet. We have these. Mate wants to get these powder coated. Uh, they're 2JZGE rocker covers. Um, going to tidy them up with a sandblaster. He's had a go at putting down a silver base coat and then using like a fluoro paint over them. It's, um, it's fried and they're too hard to clean. There's bits of powder coat still stuck to them in a lot of places, which is just too hard to get off by manually sanding something by hand. Um, so we're going to start at about 45 psi with the blast cabinet. We're going to tape up the big AN fittings in the top here. And then we're going to give it a bit of a blast and see what happens. So uh, I'll get set up, get these taped up, and we'll get them in the cabinet. All right, then we've got a bit of masking tape on there to protect them. Let's uh, turn on the cabinet. Now, if you've got yourself one of these Tool Pro cabinets, look at the light switch and that up there. They've also got, I've also bought this uh, Roby vacuum. They come from Bunnings, it's a beast of a thing. But it's got auxiliary uh, power port on it for tools and things like that, like sanders or whatever. So when you turn the light on in the booth, yeah. As soon as you turn the sandblaster's light on, on comes that. So, let's get the... We might go the raw aluminium one in there first. See what we can do. Alright, let's see how we go one-handed. The, um... Compressor's set to about 45-ish PSI. It's gonna dip a little bit, so we'll see how we go with it. But uh, we'll just be gentle for the time being, see what happens. All right. So I'm carrying these big gloves, but anyway. I forgot to mention, we're using a Blackridge 180 litre direct drive straight to this as well. There's not even another compressor, it's just a direct drive. No extra tanks or anything. Right, let's get it out and have a look. Alright, so I've switched to the belt drive just so it's easier to record. And uh, it's just filling up the air tanks now. I'll just show you that in a bit of light. A beautiful smooth finish on it. I'll stick it back in there and keep blasting. Alright then, the other one's pretty good. Time to have a crack at the painted one. I know it probably looks pretty good on camera, but he can't actually get the paint to cover. Um, it's just very, very transparent still. He didn't manage to get it sanded perfectly before he started painting it, which is quite a common thing, like especially with something that's powder coated like this. It's a pain in the bum to uh, get it all clean. So, he goes in the cabinet. Let's blast the crap off. Oh, wow. Look at that. Then guys, we've got the finished product for you. Blast it off with a 
nice fine surface finish. Some horrible castings, really, for uh, something that's a 2JZ. That's just the way they are, sadly. I remember he told me that uh, the bloke that welded these fittings on had a horrible time trying to weld to it, so we're not going to go any harder than what we have, just in case we start popping holes in it. He did say that they had to weld up a section there, but there you go. 2JZ engine covers. Back in their box. Back to the customer shortly. I'll see if I can't get you a photo or update you on Instagram when they're all painted and done. He's going to paint them some kind of crazy bright, uh, like high-vis yellowy kind of colour. So that'll be awesome. See what happens. Thanks heaps for watching. Subscribe buttons over here. More videos over here. Stuff like this coming out of the shed. Thanks to Toolpro for the compressor. Uh, thanks to Toolpro for the blasting cabinet. Super cheap auto on Blackridge for the compressor. Cheers guys. Catch you on the next video.